Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, it's an all-new Hot Monday. Wendy's stocked up and ready with all of today's hottest topics. Plus, Kelly Osbourne's bombshell departure from Fashion Police. HuffPost Live's Caitlin Becker has the inside scoop on who's lined up to replace her. And get a jump on your spring shopping with big, trendy at Wendy discounts. Now, here's Wendy. It's time for Hot Topics. So thank you so much. Yes, we did have about a week and a half off here at the show. Everybody's well rested, and but I'm glad we're back. It just, I mean, it just, it just seems like as soon as we go on vacation, this used to happen in radio too. As soon as I go on vacation, the uh, celebrity world would explode, and I'd have no outlet, you know. And I told you, and shout out to all my Facebook fans. I know you guys want me to talk more and everything, but I can't, I can't give you emotion by just typing in, I'm not surprised about Chris Brown having the baby. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Or, or whatever is going on, you know, in the celebrity world when we're on break. So I just save it all and come back here and talk to you. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and by the way, no, I'm not surprised that Chris Brown had a baby. What's surprising to me is that this is his first one. <laughs> How old is he, 25? 25, he's at least four kids behind. I mean, you know. Anyway, reportedly, um, he has this nine-month-old daughter with a video vixen. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, that's why I'm glad I'm back to fill you in. <laughs> Apparently, allegedly, the video vixen, who's 30 years old, and who has a 13-year-old, um, was married, allegedly, at the time that she and Chris got it in. Oh. Now, all I know now, <laughs> is that, uh, is that uh, the girl is uh, still, I guess, practicing video vixen by night, but she's in, <laughs> well, you know, that gets old after a while. I mean, how many times can you pop that thing before age catches up? <laughs> I'm just saying, there's a shelf life to, to video vixen. So, and by day, she's a nurse. <laughs> she's helping people. Anyway, um, so now the video vixen is living with um, some sort of boyfriend and she's not with the husband anymore and she and Chris have agreed to co-parent. Well, apparently <clears throat> Chris took the DNA test. It was found out that he actually is the father. The, uh, listen. <laughs> so apparently he'd been allegedly hiding this uh, baby from his girlfriend who now broke up with him, Karuchi Tran. So when all this exploded, this is Karuchi's first time finding out about the baby too. Now, I don't know whether it was a break baby. You know, that's when you break up and, 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 then, and then you have a baby and then you get back together. I don't know, I don't know. All I know is that, so Karuchi has fled. Um, Chris now is very upset with the video vixen because she is talking crazy and reckless on social media ab about Chris. And now he says, well, you know what? Now we're gonna have to work out your child support because I've been paying you a lot of money on the down low to keep this out of the news and away from Karuchi and Hot Topics. <laughs> but now that, now that it is found out that you're the mother, you don't have to do all this talking. So because you're doing all this talking, we've got to settle this child support and I'm not gonna give you as much as um, I was. I don't know, there's something about Chris, like, don't get me wrong, I think he's very cute, he's very attractive, you know, he's, he's very talented, you always have to say something good before you go in. <laughs> Chris Brown just reminds me of one of these celebrities who, he's good for at least seven more kids. Like, like, 
with seven babies' mothers. <laughs> right, with, with eight babies' mothers, you said? I mean, don't you think he's good for at least seven more kids recklessly just littering out there? And, and I also feel like, I also feel like this baby won't change Chris. You know how they say babies change um, men, but he's a boy still. So I don't, I don't think that this baby will change him. I think that he'll trot the baby around when he's trying to get in our good graces and the law's good graces. Cause you know, everybody loves puppies and babies. <laughs> they make everybody go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you know, you see him coming out of the Chuck E. Cheese and he's got his little daughter and whatnot. All of a sudden, all of our hearts will melt. So I think, I think he'll use the baby like as a prop. Um, but one thing that I would caution this, this young lady, cause you're the first to have a Chris Brown baby. One thing that I would caution you young lady and the next seven who come behind you. <laughs> Make sure that you're in nursing school or doing something for your coins, because Chris Brown does not exemplify to me financial responsibility. I don't know why I think that. Like they say he's worth $30 million, but I can just see him just blowing through his money and losing it and tricking it up. So, you know, you, if you're gonna have a baby with Chris Brown, get it while he's paid. <laughs> and, and by the way, one other Swami prediction from me. Karuchi will be back with him before Easter, <laughs> right? So what, what's she gonna do? I mean, cute girl, cute girl, but what's she gonna do? If she has a baby with Chris, that's more of a liability because then she can't go on and be with like a new boyfriend because who wants Chris Brown knocking at your door all bipolar, you know? You have, to deal, you have to deal with him as a baby's father. I just, but on, on the other hand, Karuchi, you know, if you were smart, you'd stop messing around with Chris and you'd get with somebody a little bit more normal like Matt Kemp. Now, now he's a, yeah, yeah. Right? I don't follow the sports, but you know, when sports and hot topics, you know, intersect, that's when I know. Okay, so Matt Kemp is some sort of baseball player, I think for the Dodgers, but the, huh? Padres. Padres. <laughs> Padres. You, you <laughs> boys know about sports? <laughs> I'm glad to be back. Um, all right, so he plays for the Padres, and I know because, yeah, I know him because he used to date Rihanna. You know what I mean? But she needs to get with she needs to get with another rich guy because I don't know what she's. Karuchi, what are we gonna do for money now? <laughs> All right, look, let, let's just move on. What a sloppy mess. What are you doing on Wednesday afternoon? Well, you <laughs> working? No, 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 no! I don't come on at th it's in the afternoon at three o'clock. Three o'clock, if you're in New York, you watch Dr. Phil! <laughs> and for everyone else, check your local listings. This is much required Wendy study, okay? Cause Nick Gordon is gonna be on Dr. Phil. Oh. And honey, it is going to be messy. All right, so this is Bobby Christina's um, ex-boyfriend, uh, not ex, but boyfriend, husband, brother, yeah. right? <laughs> Nick um, apparently has just checked into rehab, but you didn't hear the final coup de gras of what happened. Okay, well what happened was, <laughs> I hate when the kids say that. <laughs> anyway, um, it happened right after he sat down with Dr. Phil. They're alleging that he was on some sort of thing, like he wasn't in his right mind. And he punched two of Dr. Phil's staffers. <laughs> and, He's alleged to be so wobbly on his feet that they had to push him around the hotel in a luggage cart. <laughs> yes! It's the best. I mean, you know, maybe we wouldn't put our family on like the Dr. Phil show or something, but you know, if it's gonna be on the TV, it's gonna be entertaining. I don't feel guilty about watching. Okay. Now here's more to the story. Here's more to the story. That's Nick's mom. And she was, uh, she, all right, Nick and Phil were sitting down, they were doing the interview. Next thing you know, first of all, it's done at a hotel. They already taped it, so it'll play this coming Wednesday. Okay, so they're at the hotel. Next thing you know, the door opens up and it's Nick's mom. Now, first of all, an intervention is scary enough. Have you ever been intervened? No. <laughs> well, like, excuse me, you don't have to judge. There are lots of people with <laughs> substance abuse problems. All right, hold on, hold on. So then the mother comes in and it becomes all about trying to get Nick into rehab. And Dr. Phil told Nick, if you don't clean up now, you'll be dead in, in a week. And then the mom was there. Now here's where the story gets crazy. Cause this is the same mom 
that sent Nick to live with a pop star and her daughter? Where were you, mom? <laughs> or maybe mom, maybe you showed up to Dr. Phil because the TV cameras are rolling and everybody wants to be on the TV. Well, like, I'm all for interventions, but I don't think that they should be done on TV. Sorry, that's just my opinion. I, I mean, I, uh, And I'm sure Dr. Phil did a great job with it. You know, he always um, does that follow-up therapy. So, you know, he, he walks you through and holds your hand and stuff. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with uh, Nick. And um, I also heard over the weekend, did you hear that there's some sort of reality show, allegedly, that's being taped with the Bobby Browns family? <laughs> sloppy boots. <laughs> like, sloppy. Anyway, um, now will you be watching on Wednesday? Yeah. Now, since I've been gone for a week and a half, a lot of things happen, and a lot of things happen that I didn't even care about. <laughs> but on account of you watch the show every day, and you made it here as my co-host, I'm gonna give you a story that I don't care about. <laughs> and I'm only doing it because I know that you care. But don't get used to this. <laughs> Everybody's talking about Kim's uh, platinum hair. Oh. Well, I figured you cared. I know my Facebook people cared. They're asking my opinion all weekend. And I said, I'll tell you on Monday when I get back. All right, over the weekend, she went to the extreme. She, um, she dyed her hair um, blonde, but then she went back like the next day and went platinum. Show the other picture too. <laughs> now, beautiful girl. She's a beautiful girl with the black hair and she's a beautiful girl with this blonde hair. But why does she wanna go blonde and be so random like everybody else? Like, I know, look who's talking, me and Suzanne <laughs> over here judging. Uh, but Blondes have more fun. Blondes do have more fun, but everybody is a blonde these days. Yeah. Like, I, I remember after I had my son, you know, I wanted to be a raven-haired beauty. I was never a raven-haired beauty. I mean, my natural hair is brown. It's not blonde. It's, it's brown. Like, you don't even, or, um, uh, it's not black is what I meant. <laughs> but you know how after you have the baby girls, you feel like superwoman, like I am every woman, and I got this thing to take care of, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it down in this world. <laughs> so I figure, you know, people take a raven-haired beauty, like you have a certain edge with you. So for like his first, you know, six months, I had a long, ridiculous black wig and red lipstick. <laughs> and I'd go to the grocery store like that, I'd go to work like that, cause th there's, something re there's something real like diva about black, black hair, you know? So my thought is, when you look really great, it turns out I look terrible with the black hair. It's, 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 <laughs> there's, there's something under, you know, my like undertones, it looks very, very bad. But this right here, look, if you can rock dark hair like that, I say do it. Yeah. I, <laughs> To me, it's like, it's so much more exotic. And then, you know, some of my staffers here were pissed that she didn't do her eyebrows. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think her eyebrows look bad dark. I, uh, do you dye your eyebrows? Yeah. If you did, would you share it with me? <laughs> no, I don't dye mine either. I was born with blonde eyebrows. <laughs> okay. Anyway, but I say all that to say, I don't care about Kim's hair, and I don't care what she does with her hair because Kanye made her do it, most likely. <laughs> right? Like, I don't care. So, in conclusion, put the black hair back on and, and, and stop letting him steal your joy. You haven't smiled since 1985, Kim. <laughs> Let's move along. Okay, wait. Because Doug, my floor manager, just gave me the sign that I only have like a minute and a half left in Hot Topics. Is that what I just saw, Doug? Like seven and a half. Oh, seven, seven and a half minutes? minutes? Perfect. <laughs> well, you heard about Ludacris and the baby? No, the new baby. Yeah, not the one that he just got full custody of, but the, the baby, a bun in the oven. oven. Yeah, yeah, a doxy's pregnant. Yeah, well, she quit medical school, so she might as well do something. <laughs> Um, okay, remember in January, Ludacris won full custody of his 15-month-old break baby. Yeah. Now, the break baby was, was with his um, high school sweetheart. So they've known each other, yeah, his high school sweetheart. Apparently, he and Adoxy broke up, and the girl got pregnant, and the, the, the baby's mother also has another child. But here's the thing. Ludacris won full-time custody of their child that they have together. Which I always say this, like when a woman loses custody, it just really calls into question, what kind of <laughs> woman are you? I mean, there are, except, 
there are exceptions to the rules. You know, if a woman is like strung out on drugs and, and she might need to, you know, finish her rehab and then she gets the baby back or something like that. But I can't think of more than maybe three reasons that a woman loses custody over some smelly man. <laughs> Well, anyway, so now Ludacris and his new wife, Adoxy, just announced that they're expecting a baby of their own. So now he'll have two children, and Adoxy will, um, will be forced to love them equally. Sometimes it's hard for a woman to love a break baby. You know what I mean? Every time you look at the baby. <laughs> just saying. I mean, <laughs> It's not right, because kids don't be asked to be put in situations, but you know, if you're only human and you see your child there that you had here, and then you see this break baby over there, <laughs> and you could only rescue one. <laughs> Just playing. I'm playing, I missed you, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> all you ever hope, though, is that your baby's cuter than the break baby, right? <laughs> That's all that really matters. Okay, Kelly Clarkson, I got your back. Because, here's the thing. And I don't know Kelly Clarkson, all I know is that she was our first American Idol season one. And, and I know that, you know, when I listen to Elvis Duran, that he plays Kelly Clarkson music and I know how to sing along with it. And I also know about Kelly Clarkson that she's a, she's a woman's woman. Like, like Kelly's weight goes up and down. We, she, she eats like us. <laughs> Which I love when my celebrities are more relatable. You know, I mean, shout out to all the celebrities with the perfect bodies, but we, we have enough of you. Now we, need, now we need some girls who fight for their weight. <laughs> By the way, Kelly, what are you wearing? <laughs> Head to toe, what is going on? Okay, okay, so Kelly's being attacked for her weight. Now she had a baby almost a year ago, okay? Um, and she's only five feet three. And they say that she hovers at like 200 pounds. Oh. Well, don't judge. <laughs> a British journalist slammed Kelly for not losing the baby weight even though she had the baby all that time ago. And Kelly shut her down. <laughs> Kelly said she never cares what people think. <laughs> and the thing about Kelly, Kelly has been thin enough before to tie her shirt underneath her um, boobs and show you know, full midriff and stuff, um, but she's also been as big as this. And I think that there are, there, there's too much of an expectation on women, famous women and women at the mall in Jersey. Too much pressure to like have the baby and then lose the weight. And besides, Kelly's getting the last laugh because her brand new album is number one on iTunes. I know, I know. Amal Abadoubide Kuni has a new job and it's right here in New York. She's a pretty woman. I think that she's a pretty woman. Do you know what I mean? She's got, got good bones. And of course, you know, I told you about the raven hair. Like, that's one thing about Demi Moore. Demi Moore has always stuck to that raven hair thing. I like, like, I like that. Anyway, so this Amal Abadoubide, she's got a new job. She's going to be a professor at Columbia Law School here in New York. I know. And she's um, some sort of like international law professor or something like that. And I would imagine that her class will be full at all times, if for nothing else, than to learn from, you know, a, a, a apparently a very accomplished woman. But also, you, you wanna ch check out what George is checking out. Like, you know, <laughs> you check her out and everything. Now, she is in New York. Um, she's gonna be doing that in the spring. George is also coming here um, to New York. He's gonna be filming a movie. Her tenure at Columbia will be over when the movie wraps and then they'll beat it back to California. I like when, um, I like when accomplished people teach at colleges. Like, who would you rather, I mean, not for nothing. You know. And shout out to all the college professors and everything. I know you do the best you can. But, you know, a lot of times when kids are in college and we as parents are spending all that money, uh, you know, I don't want to learn, you know, communications from Professor Cosberg. Hi, Professor Cosberg. <laughs> but that's why I spent so much time cutting your class because I was... <laughs> because I was learning more over at KISS 108 with Matt Siegel. In my internship, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was actually doing radio. Cosberg, you only talked a good game and it was just boring. Like, like... When you get accomplished people who go in and do a little um, residency at a university, I just think that that's fantastic. So, so good for you, Amal. 
Now Hot Topic is over.